We've all heard the debates. Do expensive guitars really make a difference? Today, we're gonna to dive deep into that question. As a musician and mayonnaise artist, I'm gonna give you my honest opinion on whether I think that premium price tag is really worth it and if it can give you the edge you've been looking for. So let's start with one of the biggest talking points, which is tone woods. In regards to electric guitars, there's a common argument that the wood doesn't actually impact the tone. And honestly, I have to agree. The experiment that Glenn Fricker did over on his channel kind of proved that. Whether it's a clean or a high gain tone, the differences are negligible. And personally, I couldn't tell the difference between any of them. So why do we even care about tone woods then? While these so-called tone woods might only make a one to 5% difference in your tone, those differences can stack up when you consider everything else. So a different wood in the body, different wood in the neck, fretboard, certain type of bridge, certain type of pickups, so on and so forth, the cable, and everything else that seems to make such a little tiny negligible difference, put all together, can I think give you that edge that not many other people have. For hobbyists, that 5% difference might not actually feel worth the cost. But for professional musicians or anyone pushing for a unique sound, that 5% can give you the edge over everyone else. An edge that no one else is willing to pay for. Next up is the pickups. Um, once again, Glenn Fricker did an experiment on this and kind of proves again that the difference is pretty negligible. Personally, I could hear a difference, but yeah, honestly, it's like 10% maximum, if that. High-end pickups do offer more definition and clarity, um, but the difference isn't massive, it has to be said. And I'd say, once again, the, the improvement in your tone is probably gonna be a maximum of 10%. So is it really worth it? But here's where I think it matters. Um, the biggest difference isn't gonna be in the tone, it's gonna be in the feel of the instrument. The way the neck feels under the fingers, the way the body kind of resonates against you as you're playing, uh, I think these things are often overlooked and are pretty much, for me personally anyway, essential. When you're comfortable with your guitar, everything clicks. You can play longer, with more precision and techniques that felt difficult on cheaper guitars, suddenly feel effortless. And that's the edge that I'm talking about. So let's talk about the craftsmanship of these more expensive guitars. So I've had this guitar now for about two years, going on three years, and honestly, it plays just as good now as it did the first day I got it. Every time I pick this guitar up, it feels like it's fresh out of the box. Even after two years, there's no fret wear or anything like that. Hardware's all still basically perfect. Um, you probably wouldn't expect cracks after only a couple of years, but still looks exactly the same. No wear anywhere. Yeah, I haven't gigged with it, but yeah, feels literally the same the first day I got it. So yeah, to give credit where credit is due, these boutique guitars are obviously built to last. Compare that to the more budget guitars or even mid-range guitars where parts start wearing out faster, you know, the difference is clear. So the way I see it is when you invest in a high-end guitar like this, this guitar is gonna stay with you for life. And for me, that durability alone is worth the price tag. At the end of the day, in isolation, yes, those things do make a tiny difference, if any at all, that are audible anyway. But when you stack them all up, I think they can lead to making a huge difference in your tone. And it's not just about the tone, it's about the experience, how the guitar feels, how it inspires you to play. And those things can set you apart. And that's why now I swear by these guitars, because it's not just about the sound, it's about everything. And another thing I wanted to say is we kind of need to make a distinction between tone and sound. I've had hundreds of people over the years ask me how I get my tone, and I'll always tell them, go to Live Play Rock, you'll find my exact tone there, or download it, and some will be disappointed because they don't sound like me. And that is the problem. Tone and sound aren't the same thing. And I think a lot of people confuse sound for tone. I'm not sure if that makes sense, but another way to visualize this is the tone is the filter in which my plane is going through that then gives you the final sound. So I think what sometimes people really mean when they say tone is in fact sound. And of course the final sound is more than just the tone, it's the playing, um, you know, the way you articulate things, the way you bend, the vibrato, everything else, the dynamics, um, all goes into that final sound. So considering that, 
if a certain type of wood, for whatever reason, enables me to play a bit faster, that's going to impact my sound. For whatever reason, particular frets are easier to bend on, it's going to impact my sound. So under a microscope, you're not going to see much difference, if any difference, between different types of wood in terms of tone. But I'd argue that they can certainly make a difference to your overall sound. If these different types of woods have an impact on your playing, they are going to impact your sound. Whether you think it's worth paying the premium for these types of woods, that's obviously up to you. But for me personally, um, I can justify it. You know, it makes sense why I prefer this guitar for kind of the shreddier stuff like alternate picking, sweet picking, etc. Whereas the my Regius, I I can still alternate pick and sweet pick on it, but I just love it for doing like legato and tapping stuff, which is more than likely because of the actual construction of the guitar, the, the woods that have been used to build it. And when taking that into consideration, just looking at the guitars, you can kind of see why that is. I mean, the grain in this guitar, which you can feel on the neck, is obviously gonna give you some more grip and therefore more stability. So things like alternate picking, sweet picking for my fretting hand are gonna feel more stable. Whereas the Regius is a lot smoother. In fact, it's like almost perfectly smooth. So it's gonna make changing positions a walk in the park. Along with the stainless steel frets, gonna make it even easier again. So to like conclude on that, do these tone woods, hardware and everything else that comes with these booty guitars make a difference to your tone? Probably not. I think, you know, once again, Glenn Frick has kind of proved that on his channel. But do these options impact your playing? 100% yes, and therefore it impacts your sound. So for me, yeah, 100% worth the money, and it's gonna be a sad day if I ever have to go back to like, you know, mass produced guitars, which I hopefully never will have to. So it's more than just about tone, it's about comfort, playability, and an instrument that lasts. Now, is it worth it for everyone? Probably not, but if you're a professional musician, or you just want that edge, 100% yes. So what do you think? Is it worth paying for the premium guitars or do you just think it's a waste of money and we should just stick to the budget or medium range guitars? Drop a comment below and let's talk about it. If you like this video and you want more guitar insights, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss more videos like this. Thank you for watching.